guys, so I'm starting off by priming my face, then I'm going to be going in with the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil in black, and I'm going to start by brushing the hairs down to create a clean arch. Then I'll be continuously brushing them up to get in between the hairs so there's no blotchiness or spots left over. I'm creating my tail a little bit more straight than I usually would, just to give for a more harsher look. Also, I'll be drawing them downwards for an angrier brow in the center as well. Next, I'm taking some brow gel and a brush just to help them stay in place all day. I'll be brushing the hairs up continuously as well just to get in between there to make sure the hairs don't move anywhere. Taking some concealer, I'm just going to clean up the underneath of my eyebrows and also prime my lids for some eyeshadow. Taking a NYX Hot Single Shadow in Epic, I'm applying this as my transition color for my smoky eye. I'm applying this color above my crease. This will give for a smooth transition. Next, I'm taking the color Own the Night by NYX and applying it into my crease. This is another NYX Hot Singles Shadow. It's a dark purple. It's just so old and worn, I'm not sure what the color is. I'll be applying that into my crease, following it with a dark black shadow just to deepen up the crease line a bit. Blend it out as much as you feel necessary. Taking a cream color now, I'm going to be applying that underneath my brow just to give it a little bit of some highlight. Using the NYX White Eyeshadow Base, I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. This is going to clean up my crease and make a clean slate for my cat eye. Using the NYX White Liquid Liner, I'm going to start creating white stripes. Using white before a black liner is much easier because if you mess up, you can go over white with black, but not really vice versa. Start slow with these lines. Don't go too quickly. That's the key to clean lines. I'm forming these lines into a sharp cat eye just following my shadow that I had created. Next, I'm taking the Matte Liquid Liner by NYX, and I'm going to be creating the black lines. Same thing I did with the white liner. I'm also going to basically create a line above these lines I created, and I'm going to be creating a cat eye along my lash line just to close these stripes off and make it a very sharp cat eye, I guess you could say. Take some black shadow and just deepen it up a little bit more. Next, I'm taking some lip liners by NYX. I'm going to sketch out the areas I'll be painting in. I'm using the lip liner colors in Nude Suede Shoes and Sugar Glass. Sketching out these shapes just makes it so much easier for you to paint. You know where you're going, you can see where you're going, and you're not guessing and messing up that much. I wanted to create this mouth super scary, so... I made it quite wide, paint your nose, sketch your bow tie, and sketch your top. I'm trying to create a cute little tuxedo looking top, something clownish, but I still wanted to make it eerie, uh, just like Tim Burton style. Next, I'm taking the NYX Color Correcting Concealer and NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in Creamy Natural. I'm going to be applying the color corrector in areas where it's needed most. Green for red areas, purple to lighten areas, and orange for my dark circles. Then I'm just going to take my foundation with a stippling brush and apply it all over my face. It's okay if you get over the sketched lines as well. Um, they don't need to be apparent as long as you can see them yourself when you do go back into paint. Next, I'm taking the NYX White Eyeshadow Base and NYX Concealer and Above and Beyond, and I'm placing it underneath my eyes for my dark circles. I'm using the White Eyeshadow Base because I am quite pale. It's just going to help make it a little bit more pale because clowns are pale. 
Then take a damp sponge and blend it all out. Take your favorite powder and just pack it on. That way the concealer doesn't crease or move anywhere throughout the day. Now I'm going to be taking that same epic color I used for my transition color and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. Tim Burton's characters always seem to have a sleepishly eerie kind of look to them. So I'm basically just doing what I did for my smoky eye underneath of my eyes. Lighter purple, darker purple, even darker purple than black. I'm also creating it angled toward the centers of my eyes. Put some white shimmery shadow right in the center just to open them up a bit. Also finish it off by taking your liquid liner and creating a point right in the center. Darken it if you feel that it's necessary. Next I'm creating some triangles above and below my eye. This will just give for a more clownish effect. Now it's time for mascara and falsies. I'm taking the Skinny Mascara by NYX and applying it on and then I'll be applying falsies both below and above my eyes. For me, I prefer to use black lash glue. Just be really careful because black lash glue can mess up your cat eye. Next, I'm doing some contour. I'm just taking a cooler brown toned shadow and contouring my cheekbones, the edges of my forehead, my jawline, and a little bit on my nose. Also, I'm taking this down. My neck appear a little bit more skinny. Tim Burton's characters do tend to have skinny necks and very pointed jawlines. Now I'm just going to be sketching out these creepy teeth. I wanted them very pointed and strange looking, so I'm just carefully going over my mouth and creating these shapes. Time for paint. I just mixed together a water activating blue paint and a water activating white paint, and this is what I got with a very pale periwinkle-ish kind of tone. The nice thing about, about these types of paints is all you have to do is add water. It also created my shirt a little purple. Paint in the bow tie black. Sometimes you may need to add an extra layer of paint if it comes out a little transparent. It's not a big deal. Uh, the less water you use with water activated paints, the more opaque they will appear. I'm also going to start outlining my shirt um, and my little tuxedo. Just take a very thin, small painting brush. That way you don't have any mishaps or make any lines too thick. It's just nice to outline everything. That way it gives it more of a 3D looking effect and it stands out just a little bit more against your skin. These paints also come off right in the shower. Also you just add a little dish soap with it um, or a good body wash, it will come right off as long as you scrub it a couple times. I'm also going to start creating some Tim Burton-esque swirls all over my little tuxedo shirt. Next I'm painting in the center of my bow tie. I'm making a little mini Jack Skellington, so just paint him white and put some little black painted features. Using the Wicked Dreams palette by NYX, I'm going to start making some cleavage. I just used a lighter brown and then went back over with a darker brown, then used the white liquid liner to create some highlights. Also, I did the same thing with the shading. 
uh, start with a light brown, go back in with a darker brown, and then go back in with a black shadow to create very 3D-ish looking shadows. I also created my neck a little darker. Now I'm painting the teeth. I just mixed together a water activated yellow and a water activated white paint. I didn't want them to be too white. You know, she is a creepy little clown. I wanted her to be quite spooky. So I decided to just give them a little of an off yellowish kind of tone. Leave some spacing just so you can generally see where you need to separate the teeth. We'll be going in with a black paint for that. Next, I'm taking NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, and I'm going to be basically filling in the lips with that. I'm just making a purple base. I'm going to be going back over it with a purple water-activated paint. Next, I'm taking some black water activated paints and outlining everything. I'm also using the matte liquid liner by NYX to do the swirls. Put on your blue wig to get all fancy and start outlining those dentures. It's the little details that makes the whole look come together. So if you're in the middle of one of these looks and you're feeling a little discouraged, just keep going and um, finish everything. Once you're done, trust me, you'll feel much better about it. I too get discouraged every once in a while. Start painting in those black triangles above and below your eyes. Then I'm going to be shading the teeth with the light brown and the dark brown in the NYX Wicked Dreams palette just to give them a little bit more depth and dimension. Take some white to highlight them. Paint your little ballpoint nose. I used a gray paint and then I outlined it in black and did some little white highlights with the white liquid liner from NYX. Next I'm taking NYX's Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Blue, creating some little freckles around her nose. And I'm also going to be taking some light brown shadow around her mouth just to make it appear more 3D and make it pop out a bit more. I'll also be using some white liquid liner to highlight her mouth and give it some glossy looking finish. Add some white details to her bow tie and ta-da, you are a spooky little clown. Congratulations.